In this tutorial, I want to show you how you can get monthly totals when you have daily data in Excel. So here we have daily sales from January 1st, 2023, all the way up, in, up until May 28th, 2024. And we want to get the total for each month, 2023. To do this, we can use some ifs. So the easiest way to do this is to move the total to the right a bit, and then have a start date, date, and then end date. We're going to have a date for the start of the month and a date for the end of the month. So when you have 2023, then we can do EO month, which will just bring it to the end of the month. The start date is going to be January. We just want the end of this current month, so we're going to do zero. And as you can see, it's formatted as a, a number, but we move that to a short date. And that is the end of the month. We bring this up two plus one, two plus one to bring this date to the next one. And then we do bring this formula down like so, and we copy and paste this down. So now we have the, the month, the start date, and the end date, and we want to get our total using a sum ifs. So we can do sum ifs, and then you now the sum range is where we want to base our sum on. So we want to base our, our sum based on these daily sales right here. Criteria range one. So what do we want our criteria to be based on? Well, we want our sum criteria to be based on the dates. So it's going to be these same dates that we selected right here. And the first criteria is we want the date to a for January. So we're in January right now to be greater than or equal to the first date of the month. It's going to be in quotes greater than or equal to and January 1st. And one thing to know is that if you're doing a solve reference like this, you want to make sure that you have you're greater than or equal to in quotes and, and to kind of show that it's text but also the ampersand side to separate the text of your criteria and then the sub referencing too now the next criteria range is also going to be the dates that we have right here and do you want the second criteria range to the second criteria to be less, no, less than or equal to the last day of the month and then close parentheses now, as you can see, for the month of January, we got two thousands. We got two thousand five hundred twelve dollars of sales. Now, what we want to do is we want to copy and paste this down after we lock out and everything. So we want to make sure that this is locked. So we can do function F four because I'm on a laptop, or just F four if you're on a desktop to lock down these different pieces, um, which is mainly going to be these two arrays that we're looking. What we're looking for some range in our criteria range, just to make sure those don't move. But we're not locking down um, there is start or end date, so that changes as we paste it down. So we're going to then press enter. And you're going to bring it down like that right there. And as you can see, now we have the total for every single month. But this might be a bit cumbersome, right? What if you wanted to have, what if you wanted to have the, uh, the, total of criteria inside your formula. So first to do that, you want to make sure that you have that your, like the way you're referencing as a month is an actual date. So as you can see, it as you can see, this is the 1st of January, 2023. This is the 1st of February, 1st of March, so on and so forth. Then we can go function F2, and instead of, of having it be greater than our first start date, it's just our month column because it's the same date. And we can then for less than or equals to, instead of having it be H4, we can have it be the AO month. The start date is going to be the first of the month, and then zero to get to end of the month. And like so. And then now we can remove these columns, copy and paste this down. And it will do the same thing because but one thing to note too is that it's kind of in part because of how this is you know formatted. I form I'll always say formatted this specifically so it would work well for the video. Um, but your data might be a bit more messy than this. So you know you might have to clean the data to make it make sense a bit more. But what you can use the EO month function or the date function inside your formula to make where you're doing a bit more clean. But basically you can just use a sum ifs to get the daily data prefer between the start and the end of the month to get the total for each month. I said I hope you found this to be helpful. If you did, like, subscribe, comment. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.